Good morning, and welcome to our Mass from the historic Basilica Cathedral of St. John the Baptist. We pray that you and your loved ones are in good health. Please check our parish website for updates and for links to devotions and other information as we journey through this virus pandemic. Thank you for your continued financial support. Our presider today is Father Cecil Critch, and our entrance hymn is number 422 in the Catholic Book of Worship. Sing we praises to the Father, number 422. Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the feast of the Blessed Trinity, the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And as we gather today, we welcome everyone who is viewing on live stream and those here present for this beautiful sacrifice today after Mass. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries today, we ask the Lord to come into our hearts and to forgive us for the times we have failed to love one another as we are called to do.
Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sin and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. By sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification, made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Exodus. Moses rose early in the morning and went up on Mount Sinai, as the Lord had commanded him, and took in his hand the two tablets of stone. The Lord descended in the cloud and stood with him there and proclaimed the name, The Lord. The Lord passed before Moses and proclaimed, The Lord, the Lord, a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. And Moses quickly bowed his head toward the earth and worshipped. He said, If now I have found favor in your sight, O Lord, I pray let the Lord go with us. Although this is a stiff-necked people, pardon our iniquity and our sin, and take us for your inheritance. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm is at number 684 in the Catholic Book of Worship, number 684.
A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, put things in order. Listen to my appeal. Agree with one another. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the saints greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. And Jesus said to Nicodemus, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. Indeed, did not, God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. The one who believes in him is not condemned. But the one who does not believe is condemned already for not having believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. From the very beginning of our lives as Christians in baptism we are sealed in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. It signifies the extraordinary importance the Church has placed and still places on this belief in the mystery of the Blessed Trinity, three persons in one God, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. The belief in the Trinity goes back to the early Church. In the Gospels, we see the Trinity at the baptism of Jesus. In the words of St. Paul we used at the beginning of Mass, we invoke the Trinity in a beautiful and meaningful way. 
the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. But that's not the first time we have mentioned the Trinity at the Mass. Mass began, as all of our prayer usually does, with something that most of us probably ever hardly ever think about because we do it so often. It's a sign of the cross in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. It is not just a gesture that we use to start prayer. It's not just a sign of our Christian faith, a sign of being Catholic. This is a restatement of our baptism. These words were said over each of us. The priest traced the sign of the cross in our foreheads and claimed us for Christ. And the priest poured the water on our heads. I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The first words that made us members of the Christian community, the body of Christ. These are the same words we speak as we bless ourselves with holy water and remember our baptism when we enter a church. Sometimes we have our holy water fonts at home. It is good for us to reflect on that simple gesture, the sign of the cross today. We touch our heads for the Father, the merciful and gracious one, the one who created us. This is where we began in the mind of God the creator of our beautiful world, our vast universe, the one who created each of us in God's own image and likeness. That finger, the hand on our forehead is a reminder not only of a creator but of a God who so totally loved us that he sent his only son to draw us back into his presence. In the first reading today, we learn who this God, the Father, the creator is, a merciful and gracious God, slow to anger and rich in kindness. Then secondly, we touch our hearts for the Son, the one who taught us how to love, like the Father, who is merciful, all merciful and compassionate to all. And Jesus gave us the ultimate proof of his love for us by dying on the cross. The beautiful words from St. John, worth repeating, God so loved the world that he gave us his only Son so that whoever believes in him might not perish but might have eternal life. And secondly, God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. So much hope. Then we touch our shoulders for the Holy Spirit. If God sent his son into the world, God the Father and the Son sent the Holy Spirit into the world. It is the Holy Spirit that allows the love that is within God to enter deeply into our own own inner beings. The Holy Spirit is the sustaining presence of God's love among us. The Holy Spirit gives us strength on whose shoulders we are carried, who empowers us to be missionary disciples of Jesus Christ so that we may reflect the love of God to others on our journey. God, through the Holy Spirit, is always with us, strengthening us in life so that we may better shoulder the burdens of other people as well. As we open ourselves to this life of love, the life of the Spirit, we become loving people. We become people who create communion, who build community with others. The role of the Holy Spirit then is to empower us to live in ways that reflect the dynamic community of love that is God and that we call Trinity. The truth is we cannot be in communion with the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, unless we are striving to be in communion with each other. We know and understand from reflecting on the Holy Trinity that God is love. And the more we understand love, the more we'll understand God. The more we understand God, the closer we come to finding God. The heart of the mystery of the Trinity is that God loves us and dwells within each of us. God promised that God would never leave us alone. God is always with us through the action of the Holy Spirit. And so we come to the end of the blessing, the sign of the cross, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, And we end with amen, that beautiful Hebrew word that means, yes, I believe this. It is an act of faith itself, that word, amen. And so with our amen, we renew our faith in the Blessed Trinity. We believe in you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So when we pray the sign of the cross, we make of ourselves an offering, a prayer to God. We embody what the Trinity represents with the example of our lives and with our loving actions for others as missionary disciples of Jesus we courageously bring the gospel message of Christ to all those we meet on our journey. So may all the signs of the cross we ever make be nothing less than a proclamation of our belief in a God of love who has been revealed to us as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. May the hands we join in faith be generous in giving and 
eager in helping others. May the shared life and love of the Blessed Trinity be reflected in each of us. And may God bless us all in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today we profess our faith, and today we'll use the Nicene Creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As we gather today, we offer our prayers of intercession to our Heavenly Father, trusting in God's merciful help for us today. We pray that our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Archbishop Peter, all church leaders, and all of our church community may proclaim the one true God to the world by being faithful to the will of the Father, obedient to the teachings of Jesus Christ, and open to the working of the Holy Spirit in their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our world community, that all leaders and citizens may speak out against all forms of hatred, racism, intolerance, and inhumanity in our homes, communities, and nations, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor, the unemployed, and for all who are experiencing financial stress as a result of the virus pandemic, that they may find communal support in securing resources to sustain their families, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the sick recommended to our prayers, for Dr. Robert Wally, Brandon Bowen, Terry McLevy, and for protection and strength to our health care workers and caregivers who provide compassionate care for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died this week in homes, hospitals, health care facilities, for Brother Dave Murphy, Brother Joe Frechette, James Pinn, Joe Brown, and for comfort and prayer for loved ones who mourn their loss, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own intentions, the prayers within the quiet of our hearts today. We pray to the Lord. God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the graces and blessings you give us every day. We make our prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Our offertory hymn is number 420 in the Catholic Book of Worship, Creator God Creating Still, number 420.
and pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept your sacrifice with your hands, with praise and glory with me, for our good and the good of all of Holy Church. Let us pray. Sanctified by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, the oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. <coughs> the Lord be with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim to and the seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day, as with one voice they acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. And therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. 
Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, St. John the Baptist, and with all the saints, and whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of the whole world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Peter our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of the families whom you have summoned here before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give a kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Pray with confidence to our Heavenly Father in the words that Jesus, our Savior, taught us. Our Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And we offer the peace of Christ now to one another. Behold, the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, 
I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Our communion hymn is number 6.6 .6 in Celebrate in Song, One Love Released, 6.6. .6. One bread, one body, one cup, one call, one faith, one spirit, present in our soul, one prayer, one blessing, one hope, one peace. Church, one people, one love released. Is not this bread we share, the body of our Lord? Is not this wine we drink, the blood? Let us pray. May receiving the sacrament, O Lord, we pray, bring us health of body and soul as we confess, confess your eternal holy trinity and undivided unity through Christ our Lord. Amen. We offer our prayer to Mary for help and protection during this pandemic. O Mary, you always Lord, shine, you shine on our path as a sign of salvation and of hope. hope. We, entrust we entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, sick who at the cross took part in Jesus' pain, keeping our faith firm. You, salvation of your people, know what we need, and we are sure you will provide, so that is in Cana of Galilee, we may return to joy and to feasting after this time of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father, and to do as we are told by Jesus, who has taken upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows to lead us to the cross, to the, to the joy, joy of the resurrection. resurrection. Amen. Under your, Under your protection, protection we seek refuge, Holy Mother, Mother of God. God. Do not, not disdain the entreaties of we are in trial, trial but deliver us from every danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And bow your heads now for God's blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. May God let his face shine upon you and show you God's mercy. Amen. May God turn God's countenance toward you and give you God's peace. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. My blessings to everyone today, and have a great day. You too, Father. Our missioning hymn is number 555 in the Catholic Book of Worship. Holy God, we praise your name, number 555. Five, five.